Hi guys, so I normally don't start off my videos like this on my main channel, but today is going to be a plaid day. If you're new, it's just a series where certain days it's going to be, you know, it's going to have plaid involved. I wouldn't say it's all about plaid, but there's definitely going to be plaid involved, especially in my outfit. And then you'll see it, you know, throughout like the decor in my room and in the living room and stuff like that. So the reason why you're looking at all this is because we're gonna start off plaid day with, you know, taking a shower, getting my outfit on. I'll show you guys my, oh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, we're gonna, yeah, transform into like a casual plaid outfit. I actually have one that I found on Pinterest. It's gonna be like my inspiration for today. So I'll show you guys what that outfit looks like and then I'm gonna try to recreate it. But first, before I take a shower, um, I do want to go ahead and tidy up my room. So we're gonna go ahead and make the bed. We're gonna do some vacuuming as well. Um, the rest of the house has been cleaned, just not this room, so let's get started. So actually this stuff was on my bed because I took it off this morning. I actually went and ran some errands, did some little last minute shopping, which is also going to be in this video. We're going to do a haul, but I thought I'd show you guys that I had a plaid outfit on, or at least to my standards, this is definitely plaid because I am wearing this tartan plaid hat. I get questions on this all the time. I bought it a few years ago from Southern Proper. Um, so anyways, here was the look, just this black sweatsuit which is from walmart and then this like puffer uh vest but it's kind of like a coat ish because it's a little long this works great especially in texas because um it just wasn't cold enough for like a full-on you know full-length coat um so the vest worked out really nicely obviously i'm not wearing my shoes but i just had on some like white reebok shoes and then this was just my look which i really like simple plaid is there but anyways, all right, I'm gonna get this put up now and we'll make the bed. So we got the bed made. If you're interested in the details of this room and the decoration, there is a full decorating video on my bedroom. I'll link it down below. All right, so then I'm gonna spin you guys around kind of slowly. Don't wanna make you sick. Um, and then I have some ambiance. I was trying to go for something a little bit plaid, but I found this and you know what I realized? Plaid isn't just a pattern for me, it's also a feeling. Um, I also correlate winter snow to plaid. So this definitely is plaid vibes for me. I mean, look how cute this, this little ambiance is. I will link this video down below. It's on YouTube, by the way. So you can just like set it to your TV. Um, but yeah, look how cute it is. And there's actually like a postman just drove by, but there's also like the little red truck too with a tree in the back. So very cozy, love it. Um, so whenever the little truck comes by, I'll try to get another clip, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my outfit inspiration, show you the picture that I found at Pinterest, and see how well I can match up to it. Alright, so here is the outfit inspiration. If you watch me, then you know this is very much me. So I love that she is wearing like a plaid button up and then she's wearing a cap already up my alley and then the leggings already up my alley i don't have any winter boots that look like that with the black so i might go for my high top converse on this look but i definitely want to do the leggings the plaid flannel and then a simple baseball cap like that so let's see what i can't find
All right, I have a flannel like this. I also have this, which is more of a shacket, which I don't want to do. I have this one, which is my favorite. So let's grab this one. And then possibly this one as well. I have this button up as well, it's inside out, but I have this option too, but I actually don't, I don't really want to go for anything too brown, so not this one. I have this option, but this is also more of a shacket, so not that. This is more of a sweater, I want, I want more of a button up. I have this as a jacket, this is a jacket as well. I have this option, which is also a jacket, and another jacket. This one might be long enough. And now to pick out a hat. All right, so I'm actually gonna go with a white hat even though she was wearing a black hat. But what I like about her hat is that it was, had like a more sporty logo. Hers was New York Yankees. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this one, which will then be easy for me to pair my shoes because I do have some Adidas shoes that will go perfectly with this because it's just not cold enough. I mean, I could, I could definitely wear some boots, but I don't have anything similar to what she has. So I'm gonna go this route. I just don't know which top I'm gonna go for. I think this one's probably the best one. And honestly, I've just been wearing the heck out of this one because it's my favorite. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower, get my hair and makeup done. None of that's gonna be on camera, so you guys just get to see a very fast transition. So let's go ahead. All right, so all finished now, and this is the look. I normally actually don't do the tuck-in feature, but I'm trying to, um, you know copy the picture a little bit and I actually really like it it's really fun just adds a little different fun element here are the shoes I'm going with that matches my hat I actually really love this outfit I mean I've paired this before with leggings and most likely this hat but I do have my hair down and my makeup done did some waves and yeah it's just a really fun plaid outfit here's Loki all right, so just to show you guys me kind of next to the photo a little bit, it's kind of like blurring out one or the other, but here's the photo again. And then here I am. So obviously different colors, but I just liked the concept of the hat and the plaid and the leggings because it's what I live in. And if you're wondering, this top is from Shein. I love it because I love the length. I definitely think, um, I prefer longer tops whenever I'm wearing leggings. So anyways, all right. So that's the outfit. Now let's go ahead and jump into the haul. All right, so now I'm gonna share with you guys kind of some last minute items that I picked up. It's pretty random. There's just a variety of different things. So I'll show you guys what I got. So the first thing is actually this cleaner right here. It is for the new carpet cleaner that I picked up. Um, so yeah, I decided to get myself a carpet cleaner. I got it from Amazon and then I went to Big Lots, which I should have said that. So we've got Big Lots um, and TJ Maxx and Burlington Coat Factory in this haul. So anyways, while I was at Big Lots, I saw this and decided to pick it up. It's just the solution that goes into the specific carpet cleaner I bought. And I'll link mine down below just in case you're wondering. And actually, I was sparked by a video on TikTok of a lady using a carpet cleaner. And in that, she used like a cleaning pod. So I think she used Gain specifically and it's supposed to like do the most magical cleaning on your carpet. So I picked this up as well to add to the carpet cleaner. So I'm gonna be vlogging this by the way. So I got this specifically for that. And then I have been on the hunt for some like cute little stocking stuffers. I'm gonna do stockings for several different people. So I found this at Big Lots and thought it was perfect for the person I have this in mind for. It was $5 and it's a little football stress ball. And what I like about it is that it has, the helmet is the holder. 
and the stress ball is the actual football. So I thought that was really cute. Great price for a little stocking stuffer, so like that. And then, oh, the last thing from Big Lots is actually a cookie jar. So let me just assemble it because it was so cute. Do you see this cookie jar? Oh, that's super cute. Isn't this adorable? They actually had different options. They had like the little red truck. They didn't have a gingerbread, even though I already have a gingerbread cookie jar, but I saw this nutcracker and I was just like, absolutely. And I actually don't plan on using him as a cookie jar. So next, I'm sorry, Loki's like bumping into the tripod. So next year, I'm going to try to do like a little nutcracker theme in my guest bedroom. So I'm going to use him as decor. And this was $10. Like, look at these little details on him. I love anything nutcracker. I, I realized that actually last year. Um, but then this year, I was looking at my mugs. And I was just like, I really wish I could do a nutcracker theme somewhere. And I think the guest bedroom is going to be the perfect place. The only reason why I didn't do this year was because the be the guest bedroom is just still coming together in terms of decor, so I just ran out of time. All right, so that's it from Big Lots. I was kind of hoping to have like a, a jackpot haul for you guys, but I was roaming around that store and that was it. All right, now I'm gonna show you, share with you guys what I got at Burlington's. So I wasn't planning on picking up any decor. I just happened to see these faces and I said for this price I can't walk away from this because I'm going to be redecorating the house. There's not going to be too many changes but there's going to be some changes. So I found these and I bought two of them. I'm just going to share one. Look how gorgeous this is. Still very much within my style. My style isn't going to change too, too much, but you'll just have to tune in to kind of see what I'm doing because I am adding like another style element. I'm still keeping farmhouse elements. I'm still keeping my French country elements, my Tuscan elements with all the metal and stuff, but I do feel like I am going to go into a more eclectic route, so I can't wait for you guys to see. And this was $14.99. Actually, the second one, they gave it to me for half off because there was like a little crack in the glass. It's not this one, it's the other one. So I got this one for $14.99 and the other one for like, what, $7.50? So, yeah. So got that. And then here's the other one. I'm just going to keep it bagged up because I don't want it to like break further. My goal at Burlington's, hang on, I gotta get this paper away from Loki before he starts okay, eating Burlington's it. Or Burlington. Burlington. You've been saying Burlington's. Burlington's? Burlington. Burling, Burlington Coat Factory. Yeah, just, it's singular. Oh, oh. So at Burlington, um, my goal was to find some more stocking stuffers because I was go going back through my stash. I keep like several different boxes, um, you know, for like my daughter and stuff. And because like I said, I'm doing multiples, I was going through what I had and I was like, okay, this is the goal. So I'll show you guys what I found. Um, I found these Mr. Because one is for a guy. I'm gonna have to tell them not to watch this video. But anyways, this is just exfoliating gloves. There's several in here. And this was $3.99. So I got that, I thought that was really fun. And then, let's see, are those stocking stuffers? I also found this, which will also be a stocking stuffer. It's a Nike fleece neck warmer. I guess, and $7.99, so you just essentially like wear it here. It's probably like a guy's version of a scarf. So I am gonna have to take it out of this, you know, piece so that it'll fit into the stocking. And then I picked up a sports bra, it's super cute. It's New Balance, which has easily become like one of my newest athletic favorite lines, especially with their shoes. But look how beautiful this sports bra is. Like, I love all of the detail. And then the straps that say New Balance. Really cute. A little sports bra. 
So just to hold it up in case you didn't see that feature. And this was $12.99. What? That's insane. All right. I also picked up another apron. So we're going to be baking cookies and I wanted to have an extra apron on hand. So I picked up this one. So pretty and festive. Merry Christmas. Oh, it says very merry is what it says right there. There's even like a nice little pocket here. The red detail, which is adjustable. I love that. And this was $12.99. All right, the next item that I picked up is actually a watch. And I don't know what possessed me to get this watch, but like, let me just show it, show it first. Okay, so it's clear. It's giving me 90s vibes like none other. It's reminding me of Swatch. Who remembers that? I feel like I just remember my grandmother really loving the whole Swatch thing. Now, this isn't a direct match to swatches they didn't have as bulky of a, a face watch part um but like the clear thing i feel like really reminds me of that for some reason and i just really liked how sporty this watch was i got it for my stocking so happy birthday to me um 12.99 and yes for those of you that don't know my birthday's on christmas so that's why i said that it wasn't just like a random thing and then i found these little earrings and i really liked this too because they have let me just show you guys hopefully some of them this one's kind of like can't get them to stay apart but actually i really got it for the little locks i thought they were so cute and i also like the pearls I mean, the rest of them are, are cute too, but really, I got it for the lock and the little pearls. And this was $9.99. So ultimately, I really went there to get a couple of um, stocking stuffers, and this was, this is what I wanted to get, so. What I Trip. What? What I get? Nothing. And the last store is going to be TJ Maxx. I don't know why, but I bought more gift bags. I mean, it's got to stop, okay? Like, don't eat the ribbon. Off. I truly have to, I have to stop with this, like, weakness. But, like, look at this bag. It was so cute. It was $2.99, and you get, like, a pack of tissue paper as well. Also, I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but it has a stunning glitter effect. Yeah, I just feel like it's just not, it's just so much prettier in person. And then this one I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Like, there was no way I was going to walk away without this bag. Like, how charming is this? Micah, look at this bag. It's, really it's a gingerbread house. Like, what? That is just the cutest bag I've ever seen. $2.99 as well and comes with a pack of red tissue paper. Like, if I saw this at Dollar Tree, I would freak out. I would freak out. I mean, the price is like almost there. So this is a really cute bag. And I would have gotten more, but this was the only one. So, and you guys can't see, but there is a beautiful like felt detail to the white part. So it has some, some like texture to it, which is really, really nice. This dog is straight up sitting in my lap. Look at this. Whoa. Look at that. Make yourself comfortable, dude. All right, I'm just going to carry on like this. And then I picked up some uh, hand soap for the upstairs. I found this Egyptian cotton. I forgot that I think I already bought hand soap from Dollar Tree, and I completely forgot that I had already bought this from TJ Maxx. So TJ Maxx happened first, and if you saw my Dollar Tree haul where I did the welcome basket, um that I'm doing for my guest bedroom for my family. So I'll link that video down below so you can see like how I put that basket together. I also hauled some hand soap. Um, just cause we really don't use the media bathroom that much. But yeah, like I said, I forgot. Here's what this looks like from TJ Maxx. And it was $5.99 for that big bottle. And then the reason why I got that was cause it came with like, not came, this was sold separately, but I found the Egyptian cotton fabric and room freshener. So I thought this would be a nice little touch for, you know, them to kind of like spray the bed or the room or whatever. 
so and this was $4.99 got this pack of loofahs so pretty $4.99 and there's one two three four five loofahs so essentially cheaper than Dollar Tree stocking stuffers I picked up a dual foot brush you know with the pumice stone and the, the brush so got that and then also a foot file yeah pretty thin it's gonna fit really really great in a stocking so got that and then $4.99 also I'm really sorry that I always say got that I don't know why I say that after every item clearly I got it I actually found a longer train set to this at TJ Maxx. I put it up when I found the smaller version, but they had one where there was like multiple carts attached to it and it was like 20 something dollars. This was $7.99, but look how cute this is. And I think it's actually filled, yeah, it's filled with chocolate chip cookies. But then in the end, you know, you can remove the cookies and then you have yourself some really cute decor. You know, you could style it around your tree or your mantle or a console table. What? This is just absolutely darling. That's going to be it for today's plaid day. I did have plans to do a wrap with me, but I'm actually running out of editing time. So I'm really sorry about that. But there is going to be some wrapping over on my vlog channel because the next two days are going to be Dollar Tree hauls. So I'm not going to do any wrapping there. So if you just need to see some wrap with me videos, uh, it will come up in like Wednesday's uh, vlog on my main, on my vlog channel. So completely separate channel. Loki wants to say goodbye. Come on, come say come say bye. Come on. <laughs> okay, say goodbye to everyone. Oh my gosh! Doesn't he just you just plaid suit you? Like look look at this plaid next to you. So adorable. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved Plaid Day, and I'll see you tomorrow.